Thanks. Welcome to the Toy Rewind Podcast with your hosts, the Brothers Newland. Now, let's talk toys. Superman, Michael. I am John. <laughs> lost John, but I am. Uh, I'd go with Batman, Andrew. Um, I guess that's how we're doing. <laughs> um, John, I don't know who you'd be doing. Uh, not no Aquaman. Clue. Maybe Aquaman, John. Green Lantern would be fun you for go. you. Um, Green Lantern, make everything like come out of your out of your ring. It'd be awesome. So, um, we have a I super like fun Aquaman. episode this he week. Talk to- he could talk to fish. Yeah, we have a super fun episode this week. Uh, we are talking about uh, none other than the Kenner toy line of DC superpowers, uh, the superpower collection. So it's a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're talking about super, uh, the super friends. We're talking about, I mean, it's Kenner. We're back in them. We've talked about Kenner a lot since we started this. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but before we do that, John, run us through our, uh, our social needs. Yeah, don't take a drink. Don't take a drink. <laughs> Can't do that. While John's drinking, I'm going to say this This is one line that I've been looking forward to to talking about. So this is one of my favorites as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John, go ahead. All right. All right, cool. So where to find us? You can check us out on our website at toyrewindpodcast.com. <laughs> you can email us at toyrewindpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, or you can look us up, Toy Rewind Pod, uh, Facebook and YouTube, Toy Rewind Podcast. And of course, we stream our toy box showcases when we have them. And really, you think so? Yeah, I think you're a little Sorry. delayed there, John. No. No. It's fine. <laughs> right. Could be the weather around here. It could be. Uh, but we stream our toy box showcases on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Uh, check our bingo podcast out at bingo or podcastbingo.com at backslash toy rewind. Uh, and then always look up our collector showcases with Geek Together uh, on their channel and everything as we had one not long ago. We had one just, well, yep. it aired when somebody can listen to this a few days ago. <laughs> but um, as of us recording this, we did it last night with Ab from. Uh, 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 average nerd and beehive collectibles that that has got to be we've done some really good episodes i've enjoyed the collector showcases um and we're we've got more coming uh, but that's got to be one of the funnest episodes i think that we've done just chatting with him about the store and and mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff so and it has nothing to do about me possibly getting a chrome bat or a metallic batman um <laughs> that we're talking about back and forth so uh but yeah it, that we had a lot of fun did a giveaway uh a lot of fun with that one so you should go back and check it you can watch that on our youtube channel um because it's it should be archived over there so if you want to see ab talk about a store how he got a store started um how he weaseled his way into the average nerds and all that kind of stuff so yeah good guy there so a lot of fun um and so yeah like john said make sure you're keeping up with our social media so that you know when we're going to do those because they are not scheduled more than maybe a couple days out, you know, as we're talking to people trying to get, trying to get stuff going. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One other thing that I want to mention our toy bracket uh, that we just did. Uh, this will be the first episode or did we talk about it on the last episode? Did it wrap up after the episode? No, it wrapped up after, after we okay. did. So um, we haven't talked about the winner. We haven't talked about on, the winner on, on here yet. Podcast. So we had those 32. Um, all right, let's say we had 16 good toy lines and 16 mediocre toy lines that all went up against each other. Um, and it all came down to the Kenner Star Wars and the Playmates Turtles. And the Turtles beat Kenner. Like, they demolished. No, no, no. Just kidding. Um, they the turtles won by one point. Uh, it was it over. seventeen to sixteen. One point. It was uh, it was pretty good. So I I liked that. My vote might have been you know. I think it would have been tied because I I'm, I was I voted myself and and you I missed, missed vote, the inst- was it the Instagram one the one that was yeah. only one day I checked it like a day late and I'm like oh no 
Yeah, you missed that one. So. It would have tied it up. Yeah. I'm like, I, I think. Won, so. I think those are pretty good. <laughs> those are two pretty good toy lines. So it was, um, it was a good fight. Those two, it was pretty good. Yeah. So, um, all right. So there's that. We'll be doing that again. We're going to get right down to 32 again. We'll do, be doing that again. And then eventually we'll just do like the TMNT will, but we'll end up in the final four and some other like things. So uh, I thought it was fun. Four, yeah. So we'll, we'll be, mm -hmm. we'll definitely be doing that again. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got our fun for all question. Another time for us to just kind of get to know us a little bit. We've done this every time we've been on here. It's a lot of fun. If anybody has a question, if they're listening, they have a question, they want to send it to us, feel free to send it in. We love to answer questions and, and have fun with this. So uh, this one is totally on point with this week's episode. Um, and my, it came from Michael over there. He wants to know who our favorite super friends character is. Um, so this is not super, you know, our favorite superhero. Uh, there's a specific set here that are part of the uh, Super Friends and uh, Michael, Super you're Friends it's cartoon, yeah, yeah. So you're the most familiar with it. I remember watching it, but yeah. not as much. <laughs> um, I remember. Yeah, I watched it all so, the time. Yeah, I love the show. Give us a rundown uh, my of favorites, most of the characters. Uh, you know, you had your basics: uh, Superman, Batman, and then you had your their villains with them. You know, Lex and and Joker and Penguin and all them. Uh, but they had some obscure top characters with them too. You know, you had the mm -hmm. Wonder Twins with um, uh, this name's Gleek. Dane and oh no, their names. Yeah, Dane. Was the yeah, Gleek was the, uh, the 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 monkey. Yeah, so um, you had Zan and and Jane Jaina yeah. were the two twins. So uh, then you had uh, El Dorado and um, Samurai. Now we've lost Michael. Yeah, now we lost Michael. Well, he's cut out a little bit. Hold on. Oh, no. That you don't really see in the comic panel. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Am I back? Welcome back. Yeah, there you are. There you go. So you okay. said El Dorado, and we lost so, you. Yeah, El Dorado, and then you had Samurai, and then you had, um, yeah, you had uh, the, oh, what's his, Ger is it Geronimo? I can't remember the guy, the Indian's name that, that grows kind of like uh, Ant-Man when he gets big, and then he goes back to normal size. Um, is that not yeah, so, uh, Apache Chief? Uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, so so they had a bunch of obscure ones. So my favorite, my favorite character for the, for the whole show was Red Tornado. Red. Oh, I forgot I about Red remember. Tornado. Yeah, you remember Red Tornado? <laughs> yes. Um, and I probably could have guessed that had I thought about his name. Like, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause we talked about this before. So yeah, that, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And I did try to guess the wonder twins. I know you've got that, uh, three pack of their pops and I tried to make sure I got those for you, but, um, yeah, red tornado for Michael. That makes sense. John. Uh, man, trying to think back, back about then and actually thinking of who's in there. I would actually probably pick Aquaman to tell you the truth because when I was a kid younger and I wanted to be a Marine biologist. So that kind of, you know, that makes sense. Up. You want to go talk to the fish. It'd make it a lot easier if you were right. Aquaman. You'd just be like, hey, what's right. wrong with you, fish? <laughs> um, and it could just tell you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> so that makes sense. So Aquaman for you, Red Tornado for Michael. And uh, I'd probably pick Superman. I mean, I'm just kidding. Not at all. Um, Batman. This is where <laughs> I kind of fell in love with Batman, watching Super Friends, the little things that we did watch. Um, and everything. So this is, it's Batman for me. Um, there's a lot of other good ones on there. I did like flash from there. He had a little, you know, sense of humor with him. So, um, kind of nice, but it was, it's always Batman for me. Although this is a, this is like the nice friendly Batman and not the, uh, brooding Batman. So, All right. You know, not the murder machine, not the murder machine, yeah, obviously the, not the murder. This machine. is the one you saw like on Scooby-Doo and stuff too. Yes, yeah, and so lots of fun. Right. Since, it, since it is a Hanna Barbera um, cartoon, yeah, so you saw it with them, yeah, yeah. So this is the version you saw running around Scooby Doo um, as they went and mm -hmm. helped Scooby Doo solve some mysteries when the Riddler or the Joker stole their stole the Batmobile and parked at the amusement park. Lots of fun. So, all right, well, this has been. 
it's been a lot of fun uh, talking about that, but we really want to get into talking about this toy line because I know the Michael's got a lot of history on it. Um, like I said, this is a fun one, one that Michael's been looking forward to. Uh, so uh, let's dig in. Hopefully, Take it away, Professor. Hopefully the internet worked correctly because we've got some bad weather going right now. So it's yeah, affecting it, I think. So, but anyway, so if I cut out, y'all just we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it rolling. Holler at me or whatever. So. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, this is the DC, the DC Superpowers Collection, is what this is. So, from 1972 up until 1983, Mego Corporation uh, was owning licensee for DC. Uh, when Mego folded in 1983, uh, the license was up for grabs. Uh, so, DC invited multiple to- toy manufacturers to pitch for the license, uh, and and were they were actually bowled over by the Kenner presentation that actually relied on relied strongly on actual art from the comic books. Um, so they uh, they actually gave it to um, gave it to Kenner because of that. So um, at the same time, Mattel was running for it too. Uh, Mattel ended up with the Marvel uh, license, so that's where um, the uh, the Marvel. Um, Oh, what's the name of that line? I'll think of it here in a minute. But the Marvel line went to went to them, so I uh, went to Mattel. So, um, but with the with Superman movies having a strong showing in the theaters at this time of, of the decade, and then the Batman movie in the works, although it would be another six years before it it uh, it came out uh, before it hit the big screens, and then the long running hey. Super Friends Saturday morning cartoon showing uh, showing no signs of losing steam. Uh, who wouldn't want hey, a chance at this license? So, was that the yeah. Secret Wars t- uh, toy line that you're talking Secret about? Secret Wars, Marvel? yeah, that's it. Secret yeah, the Secret okay. Wars. Yeah, sorry to me to so, interrupt, but yeah, no, no, I, I was it, my mind went blank for a second on that. So, um, but yeah, with all that stuff going on for DC during the early '80s, you know, anybody would have jumped for for this this line. So, um, and with the the action driven Motu series being big sellers at the time. Uh, you know, with their their when you twist them and they come back and and punch and stuff like that, and they had the battle shields, the the battle damage stuff. Um, for Motu, no Kenner followed Mattel's lead and devised uh, uh, hidden me- mechanisms within the figures that would trigger an action uh, when the figures' either legs or arms were squeezed. Um, the emphasis on each figure's superpower led to naming of the line and the cartoon series would end up forming the back backbone of the toy line as well. So if you squeeze, like uh, if you, you squeeze one of them's legs, his arms would punch. Uh, I know the flash, uh, which is one we actually had when you squeezed his arms, his legs would move back and forth like he's running. Um, so that's kind of what the, the line, the mechanisms inside of them did. They always had some kind of, they all had a power that they would do when you squeeze their arms or legs. Um they actually used the same size figure as the Star Wars line that Kenner Kenner had at the time. Um, it was kind of super friend, uh, superpowers came along towards the end of the Star Wars line. Um, so they, they had the same size that was three and three quarters inch. Uh, there were actually three series that were released in 1984, 1985, and 1986. Uh, so the first series um, consisted of 12 figures. There were, uh, there was Aquaman, Batman, Brainiac, The Flash, Green Lantern, Hawkman, The Joker, Lex Luthor, The Penguin, Robin, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Those were the twelve figures. Uh, there was also uh, three three vehicles in the in the first series as as uh, the Batmobile, Lex Sore Seven. <coughs> And then the Superman Supermobile. So when Superman got tired of flying around, he would jump in his Supermobile and just ride. <laughs> so kind of kind of crazy. But yeah. And then also there was a playset, the Hall of Justice playset, which is the only playset that was that was released for for the the series the, for the line. And that was a great um, playset. Yeah, it was it was really cool. I actually looked at it. Oh, uh, a week ago or so on online and, and kind of debated on buying one, but I, I, I held back on that. So, um, but okay. So there's in the series series two, 
which was 1985. It consisted of 10 figures, but also had two different mail-in figures. Uh, one was Clark Kent, and the other one was Steppenwolf, in which Steppenwolf was eventually added to the main line. So he was a mail-in at first, and then he was just added to uh, to the to the a carded carded version of it. So uh, so really, the the true mail-in was was Clark Kent. Uh, so there was also Dark Side, The Sod, Doctor Fate, Firestorm, uh, Green Arrow, Calabac, Mantis, Martian Manhunter. Uh, there was a Parademon, and then the Red Red Tornado. That 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 was the rest of Series Two. Um, they also had three different vehicles in this series as well. They had Dark Side Destroyer, uh, the Calabac Boulder Bomber. And then Delta Pro One was the uh, uh, was the third one, and the Delta Pro One was actually kind of a a spaceship, uh, a battling spaceship of the superpower hero. So it was it, you put your figure in it, and it was it was a spaceship that flew through there. It was kind of a yellow with orange tinted, uh, red tinted glass on it um, but they can actually fly through space with this with this thing um the calabac boulder bomber look at it it was just a little little pod thing that calabac would uh would ride so in kind of like had a, a little boulder yeah it had yeah, a little boulder like a that, tank. that was shoot yeah kind of a tank type thing it had some yeah, that, missiles on it and that then boulder's ridiculous yeah and then the dark side destroyer was uh, was kind of I guess he sat in it. And then it had two little sidecars, one on each side of the wings, that you could put a figure figure in each side if you wanted to. It looks like think, a, yeah, the, like, the like side pods would actually yeah, and the yeah. side pods would come off to be separate vehicles. So it was kind okay. of a pretty good size uh, thing. Um, going back to and we talked about now the Batmobile was simple. It's just the Batmobile, uh, and the Supermobile. I mean, Superman Mobile is, is like a flying Superman to, to ride in. Uh, same thing for the Lexor Seven. It's kind of a a little little ship for him to to sail around in, and it's got little little cannons and stuff that would shoot. So, so the Supermobile looks like it would be his, like it could have been his pod. Yeah. You know, yeah, it kind of looks like a like his pod when he came to Earth. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like that spaceship type thing. So I love this Batmobile. Um, It's it's like ridiculously just simple and classic, and I mean, it looks like a a sports car mixed with his uh, '66 Batmobile because it's got the two seats with the windows. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, and it's got a ramming. Was it the ramming feature up front? The the front yeah. bumper would ram out. The front, front bumper comes so, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's those. And then series three uh, had ten figures. You had Cyborg, Mister Freeze, Mister Miracle, Orion, Plastic Man, Samurai, Shazam, and then Tyre, Tyr. I don't know how you pronounce his name. It's T Y R. I, I, I never saw the pronunciation. Um, and then they had uh, two more figures that were actually a Kenner design. They weren't they weren't actually DC characters. Uh, you had Sly, Cyclo, Cyclotron, and then you had yeah. Golden Pharaoh. So Golden Pharaoh sounds like he would be a, 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 a an evil DC character, but he wasn't. He was a Kenner design. So. Uh, and then also they had uh, the Batcopter and then the Justice Jogger as well. Now this right here is just, it looks like a ATST kind of sort of figure from Star Wars. And you had a little seat that Superman would sit in and it had two little legs and it would actually walk with Superman riding it. So, or this any looks, other figure. This looks ridiculous. It. So this it's looks just, ridiculous. it just looks if you get tired of walking, you sit in this and it'll walk for you. But I don't know why Superman would be tired of walking, much less flying for a supermobile. So well, he's, yeah, know, he's, right? he's done flying. He's done walking everything. He's he just, just, yeah. Just wants to ride and kick back. And, yeah. 
ride in something to get them place to place. That's it. And it really doesn't do anything else. It just walks. Yeah. yeah it it says walks. uh overland villain villain tracer. So I guess he <laughs> just chases villain the villain. Chaser. Didn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's what it's described as. So yeah, it's kind of silly. Uh but yeah, it's just one of those ridiculous things that you see and it this doesn't really need so. Uh, but series one and two actually they, they also came with a mini comic book kind of just showing adventures for for that character uh so, but series three didn't didn't have that they took the the comic book out for that uh so unfortunately the line was canceled in february of 86 uh just as series three was shipping uh which makes the last series hard to find uh so they they stopped production right in the middle of production just stopped everything and just just canceled and then whatever was made was what they shipped so they didn't even make make as many on, on series three as they did one and two so yeah it's it was harder to find those figures are hard to find and and they were just and, and supply was was not there because because they didn't get distribute distribution was wasn't good for it so because it got cut off so um a couple of factors that that kind of that kind of uh, made it for the cancellation was the the cartoon. Um, the cartoon was was canceled at, at that same time, and then Kenner started making up their own heroes. So not not very many people were interested yeah. in these new these guys that they just made up instead of instead of using them. So they they had a whole lineup. They had a whole bunch of characters they could have used. And they, they, they didn't. So they had to start coming up with Cyclotron and, and then, Golden Pharaoh. I mean, right? You know, you're like, yeah. I then, you're, you're towards the bottom when you start doing that. Yeah. Um, another thing, you know, we've talked about this with the other shows, other lines. Uh, this is 1986. And if everybody remembers what else came out in 1986, it kind of doomed some of these toy lines. You know, you had the Nintendo Entertainment System. So yep. that, that could have had had a little bit to do with it as well. So, um, so they did have plans for several other series. Uh, and they, they, these plans have kind of popped up through the years. Uh, you know, two, two items shown on the back of the third series packaging, uh, that never made it into full production because they stopped right when they were fixing to start making them, um, was the all terrain trapper vehicle. Um, yeah, I was trying to find a picture, but I don't have a picture of. Um, this was uh, actually, and it was showed in the '86 Toy Fair catalog as well. So, um, but they had that; it was never made. And then the Dark Side's Tower of Darkness was the second uh, playset that they were gonna uh, that they were gonna produce, and it, it never got produced. So that's two, two of them that was actually on the back of the Series 3 cards. Um, there was also several prototypes that surfaced throughout the years. Uh, you had a Man Bat uh, prototype. And then you had Quadrex, which was a Kenner design. He was a little larger figure with four arms um, that they came up with to put in this. So, uh, And then also there was a Shockwave, which was a Blue Devil villain. Um, El Dorado, uh, which was from the Super Friends cartoon. And then they had Silicon, which was a Kenner design. And this one was supposed to be like a clear, a clear figure where you can see all the way through them. Um, they also had some concept art that showed future figures of, of several of them. Uh, so you had Blue Devil. So these, these were future releases if they would have been on, which there's some cool stuff on here. So they had Blue Devil, Bizarro. Creeper, uh, Metallo, which was the green and orange Roger Corbin version, you know, because there's a couple of versions of Metallo. So this is the Robert Robert Roger Corbin version of them. Um, you had Supergirl, the John Stewart Green Lantern, Kid Flash, the Manhunter, which was the 1970s Paul Kirk version, uh, Vigilante, Vigilante, uh, Mister Mixaplicalik. Uh, Black Vulcan, which was a Super Friends hero from the cartoon. Uh, Reverse Flash, Deathstroke, Obsidian, Black Racer, the Atomic Knight, 
And then there was a robot Superman and a kryptonite Superman. And then there was two more Kenner designs. It was Executioner and then then the Howitzer was another uh, Kenner design. So they actually had some cool stuff coming up. You know, I, I would have liked to see the, the Bizarro, the John Stewart yeah. Green Lantern, uh, and then some of these other like some of these others like Metallo, that that Roger Corbin Metallo. I would have liked to see that one as well. So I will say Bizarro is one of my favorite versions of Superman. Just because, yeah. like, the the way he's um, done with like art and stuff, it just it's really cool to me. I like it. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and he's the reverse, so you know he's like you know crazy. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Kenner was also planning a battery powered figure line too to, to go along with this. Uh, it was the Power Plus line. Um, it's supposed to be like a deluxe line. Um, that had lights and then uh, larger mechanisms in them. Um, one figure that was completed uh, before the line was was pulled, before it was com- completely pulled, uh, was a rock man. That was a Kenner design. Um, and then other others that were planned was a Superman, a Batman, a Robin, a uh, Firestorm, Cyborg, and then the Wonder Twins, Zan and Jaina. Um I was reading at the, the the Robin, and it had and they had um, like a handoff type thing that that would come out, and you could put it on your villain, and you hit a button, and it would pull the villain towards you. Um, also, it would act like a um, like you could stick it on top of a building, and you press the button, and it would pull Batman to the top of the building, um, so kind of oh. thing like that. And then the, the Robin yeah. had a uh, like some kind of special batarang type thing to go with it. So. Um, but yeah, I just had uh, some extra larger mechanisms that that was would have made it a lot, lot cooler. Deluxe, you know, like a deluxe set. So, um, but uh, but it would have been nice to see all this that stuff if they would have continued. And and I think I don't I don't know. Nobody really knows the exact reason why the the line was canceled, but stopped it right in the middle of production of series three. So they didn't even make full production. So. Yeah, and this is horrible that they finished because there's so many things about Superpower, the Superpower collection that is just iconic. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, let's just let's just talk about some design stuff. This has nothing to do with the figures, but it talks about the design of the packaging. So, yeah. um, at the so people listen, to this, they've they've probably already seen our sneak peek that we did for this the day before this episode comes out, um, and it is just the blue the yellow, the red stripes with the stars in it. So I did that. I sent it to the two of you. Um, John thought we were talking about some kind of ball because he wasn't thinking what was going on. Um, (laughs) But you knew what it is. Those colors and that design. Yeah, yeah, those colors and that design is iconic to this. Um, You've also got the logo, um, the dark blue, the outlined in the white with the stars coming out. Um, Stars all around it, yeah. Yeah, it is just... It's so iconic the way that they did this. And every package was the same with a few little changes for each character. So um, I'm going to bring this up because we're going to look at it for a second. So you've got the blue, the yellow, the the red stripe with yellow stars. Um, The figure was off to one side, usually underneath the superpowers logo. And then the other side of the, the card had the figure from the comic books that were out at that time with directly yeah. above those the logo that was used for the comic book so not only do you have the superpowers iconic logo to one side you've got the logo for all these different comic books showing up on and, on that one so like we're looking it at tells you what their yeah it, it tells you what their their um their action power was so this is shazam we're looking at and it says power action thunder punch so yeah, if you squeeze his arm, his legs, uh, one of, one of his arms would pop up like he's punching. So yeah. So I mean, this but, is this yeah, is just, they all they all said what so they, yeah. they all said the same. So here's a logo. I just pulled it up. Um, here's one that I saw, and I was actually going to ask you about this one. It is the golden edition of Superman. Have you ever said? Have you ever heard about this one? Yeah, that was supposed to be set up for um, for one of his anniversaries. Uh, was his 50th anniversary during right. that time. Okay. And I'm trying to, 
I just happened to see yeah, think, the picture I and I didn't know anything about just, it. Uh, yeah, I think it was just a couple that I don't think it was actually put out. I'm trying to find. I was rushed on my notes and I didn't get as much stuff as what I usually, but I did see this somewhere. So uh, if I see it again, I'll, I'll holler at you real quick. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, just everything about these, I was trying to find a larger picture that we can, we can look at with these guys because everything about the, the, the superpower collection. It's just great. The figures were amazing. They were what they had one or let's see two, four, six points of articulation because their knees bent, their mm. waists, their legs went up and down and then their arms would turn. So not a lot of articulation, but okay, yeah, just there a was, lot of fun uh, to play with. Uh, there was a golden assortment of Superman to represent the 50th anniversary with a golden repaint of Superman, uh, the Supermobile, and a collector's case. Um, they weren't they weren't actually produced, so that one you showed was probably a, a pre-production piece. Oh, it was pre-production. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was supposed to be released, and it never did. So. So the other side of this is not only are you're getting the it's the entire collection, superpowers collection. So you're getting the superheroes and the villains to play with to match them up against um, having dark side um, Joker Riddler was one that didn't get made, but um, I know he, he was in there. Lex Luthor penguin. The penguin character for this is one of my favorites. Um, it's just amazing looking character uh, and a figure. So yeah, this is a great line. I hate that they stopped this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, I really some hate of the that other they stopped stuff this. That was, all expensive now. Yeah. Um, the, the couple of things, other things that didn't get designed that were that were in the, the works. Uh, there was all terrain. I thought I said that there was a Brainiac brain ship uh, cyborg crawler, which was a redesign of the evil cat crawler. Um, there was a fist fighter. Uh, jump jet, super scout. There was another Superman glider, and there was a plastic man car, as well. Yeah. So, so here's the here's the penguin. It's just a great figure. Like yeah. I, I love the side angle. Yeah, it doesn't show it, but doesn't he have like a the top of the umbrella is extended even more? Like it's kind yeah, of like, yeah. I mean, you can see here that it looks yeah, like there's so something got, going on. Like yeah, doesn't it shoot out? Yeah, I thought so. I, uh, I don't quite remember. I don't know if it shoots out, but it's it's like a, a projectile or not a projectile, yeah, it's just, but like a sword or a yeah. stabber from the top yeah. of it. So the penguin, yeah, some of these had actually had uh, accessories. So if we go back, if we go back and talk about each uh, figure real quick, uh, like Aquaman, it came with a trident, and his power action was deep sea kick. Um, and then Batman, Batman had a removable cape. Um, he had a bat punch and he had Brainiac. Um, he didn't have an accessory, but he had a computer kick was what it's called. The flash, the Barry Allen flash. Uh, he had lightning legs, uh, green lantern, Hal Jordan version. Um, he had a lantern and then Obviously. he had a, a, the ring, the ring thrust was what it, his, his power was power action was. Uh, Hawk, his Hawk man, and it's like, yeah, yeah, he's holding. Yeah, he'll hold the. He holds onto the lantern, and his arm comes up, pointing the lantern. Uh, so Hawkman had a mace and removable wings. Uh, so he had flat wings. So you put his wings on, and you squeeze his legs, and I think his, his wings would flap. Um, the Joker had a mallet, um, and then his power action was Madcap mallet. So I think he just kind of punched with the with the mallet in his hand. <laughs> Um, Lex Luthor had a remote removable chest plate. Um, he had a nuclear punch was his power. The penguin <coughs> was umbrella and removable coattails. Um, and then his power action was umbrella arm. And you had Robin, which was a Dick Grayson version. Uh, he had a karate chop. Superman had a removable cape and then he had a punch. It was just called a punch. Not a super punch. Just a punch. <laughs> yeah, just a punch. And then Wonder Woman had her lasso, and then deflector bracelets was her power action. Um, 
So series two had, like I said, dark side. He had a removable cape and uh, raging motion was his power action. Uh, Desaad had a removable skirt, uh, and then his was shock squeeze. Uh, Doctor Fate had a removable cape and a mystic spell cast, which I think just his his hand comes up, holds up. Um, Firestorm just had an atomic punch. He had no accessories, just atomic punch. Green Arrow had a bow and three arrows. Uh, his power action was archery pull. Uh, Calabac had a the beta, and he had the beta club swing, so he just swung his hand up when he had it in his hand. Uh, Mantis, uh, no accessories, and he had the pincher thrust. Martian Manho Manhunter had a removal cape, and then the Martian punch. Parademon had a gun, and then Battleflight was his. I think he had wings as well. Uh, Red Tornado, removal cape, and Tornado Twist was his. Uh, Steppenwolf, uh, no accessories, but he had an electro axe chop. And then series, run through series three real quick. Cyborg, he had a drill hand, claw hand was his accessory. So he, he could switch his hands out. And then he had thrusting arms. Cyclotron had a re removable face and chest plate. Uh, and he had the cyclospin. Golden Pharaoh had a staff and he had soaring wings. Uh, Mr. Freeze had a removable dome over his head. Uh, cold blast punch was his. Mr. Miracle had a removable cape and shackles, uh, so he had the wrist lock es escape. And then Orion, no accessories, and he had Astro Punch and changing. I have no idea what that is. Uh, <laughs> but Plastic Man, uh, he had no accessories, but he had a stretching neck, so his head would, would oh. stretch off. And yeah, then, yeah, his uh, face turned from yeah, good yeah, to bad. Would... Oh, the change. Oh, is that what? Or, the change. Was Facebook Orion, okay, that, that makes sense. That's yeah, Orion. okay, okay. And then Samurai, he had a sword and a removable vest. Uh, and then he had Gale Force Spin. And then Shazam, which was Captain Marvel, which you can't call him Captain Marvel anymore. Uh, Shazam. Uh, so he had Thunder Punch. And then Tire, he had a firing gun hand, and then he had a rocket launch was his power action. So that's that's a rundown of the accessories and power actions. So see, yeah, see, I'm I'm glad you're able to do that because I was going to put together a game tomorrow because I thought we were recording tomorrow, um, but the game was going to be I was going to mention <laughs> what the power action was, and you had to try to guess what the character what what figure it was. Um, could have been a lot of fun. I would have been but, easy. I had it up right here on, <laughs> next to me. Well, that's the thing is I would have made you close whatever you had down. Whatever you had. We would have made you do that because yeah. you got to be good. You can't cheat. So um, let's talk about these capes real quick. Well, I would have had more, more prepared by tomorrow anyway. So Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's talk about these capes real quick. Um, I love these capes. They they look ridiculous because they, they didn't sit on their shoulders. They're, you know, it's one piece of cloth that's, You've got a little just, thing that yeah, just pinches around their neck and always rode around high. their neck. Right. Yeah. And it always seemed like it rode high, like up yeah. towards the base of the, the skull instead of right over the shoulders. And it looks funny, but it's just great. Um, also, they cost like $10 to buy on eBay, just the cape. Right. So, <laughs> you know. I found um, a uh, lantern, lantern for 25 just the lantern. Just the lantern. <laughs> just the lantern for twenty five. Yeah, just the lantern. Yeah, these these accessories. If you if you if you need a, the accessory, they're they're expensive because they're just so hard to find. So um, the whole. Did you happen to? Did anybody happen to look up how much their uh, how much they sold for? Not how much they sold for, but I was looking at some on there. Yeah, these things. If you if you get um, just individual, uh, if you want like a mint figure that's not carded, you're gonna pay 50, 60 bucks for it. Oh yeah, no, uh, no, no. carded ones. How much they how much they sold for, for in eighty six? Oh, original. Um, original price. I don't I don't remember seeing that, but going back to what I was saying, 
the if you want a carded one, you're gonna pay a couple hundred bucks for for some of yeah minor yeah. characters. Yeah, I was just trying to see because I wanted to see how much they saw, sold like, for. Oh, here we go. Original retail price. You guys ready for this? Okay. Three dollars and ninety four cents. So that's that's almost ten. That would be ten dollars today. So in, in 1986, that's 1984. Yeah. So it's a ten dollar figure. Not too bad. Um, and these are also just a lot like the reaction figures that we that you know Funko makes now. So right. um, yeah. Which I don't I don't remember how I don't have any reaction figures, so I don't know how much they sold for. So um, but those are uh, yeah, pretty much almost the same thing. Just I think these are a little bit cooler because they're old. Right. So. Yeah, and this is a line I've been I've been looking at this line for a couple of years about picking up uh, some of them here and there, and I actually did. I've got some actually on the way now. And since we've been talking about this past week or so, I have uh, I've got some on the way. So, and we will do a a uh, a showcase showing them off once we get them once I get them in. So, um, the uh, going back to to what we had. I don't know if you guys remember any of them. Uh, we had. The uh, we had Flash, we had Red Tornado, and we had Green Lantern. Those are the three that we had. Um, I, I think I Green had Lantern. the Flash. John, I think John was Green had the Green Lantern. And I had the Flash, and I think Andrew had, had the Red Tornado. Um, but yeah, the, the Flash, you squeeze his arms, his legs would run. Uh, like I said, the the. Uh, green lantern when you squeeze his legs his arm would come up holding the the lantern and then when you do the red tornado when you squeeze his arms his his feet his legs so twist around spin. in circles yeah yeah spins, i remember that like he's, in, like he's doing his tornado move yeah from the cartoon yeah um you don't and you, you don't have those anymore no, no. <laughs> i was They've hoping maybe gone. you still had them somewhere that would have been nice if we still had them um i i'm i've been looking the last week i want a batman um he's one of the most expensive ones that i've found so far especially a, a, yeah. a decent ver i don't even need it to be carded i just want a decent looking figure if you want to have the cape yeah with yeah. cape he's like that's another 30 bucks um the the batmobile i'd love to have one of it one of those and they're hard to find too and and they like good without paying, you know, an arm and a leg. So in good condition. So totally awesome. Yeah. I will have, I will find one somewhere. Uh, this is a great, this some is a great these, one. I love this one. Yeah. Some of these, some of these figures also uh, were used later on in other lines. Um, there was <clears throat> like in the Kenner's 1991 Robin Hood toy line. Uh, it used uh, parts of the molds of the superpower, you know, uh, predominantly the Green Arrow. Uh, so both Robin Hood figures in this used the Green Arrow's body. And then like Little John, Dark Warrior, Azeem, uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, and Will Scarlet were created by combining parts of figures, including, you know, they used parts from Green Arrow, Hawkman, Batman, Captain Marvel, which was Shazam. Uh, Lex Luthor, Robin, and Desaad, uh, and then some of the uh, some of the other parts came from from Star Wars and RoboCop. So they were they were pretty good at reusing some of these down the line. Um, I think in that line also the Star Wars uh, the uh, my mind went blank again the 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 <laughs> the, uh, the green guys that were at Jabba Hutt's uh, uh, Jabba the Hutt's uh, thing, his guards. They used that figure as uh, Little John and they just replaced the head. The rest of the body looked like the figure. They just had a different head on them instead yeah. of the the one they had. So Leave it to Kenner. Um, to, but yeah, they, Kenner, Kenner was using that. a lot of different yeah, a lot of these different ones to, to come up. Um, I believe uh, like the, the Penguin uh, he was reused in the Batman line when the 89 movie came out. Uh, they just repainted them to make it look more like the, the movie version yeah. of them. Uh, you take so, the blue, you make it black and yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they they did use parts and pieces throughout the years on on a different different lines for the yeah, next some of the molds 10, and stuff 15 years. That, too. that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So all right. Well, we could we could literally sit here and talk about this line I think forever because it's just an amazing toy line, but I want to rank these real quick. Um this is something, you know, obviously getting ready to oops, sorry. Um getting ready to uh get our next line or our next bracket going we gotta get we gotta get more stuff ranked so um let's rank this obviously we've only got four things on our uh on our list right now and i i think i know where this is going for michael um i honestly i think i know where it's going for john and i uh, i know where it's going for me but let's see what you guys say michael where are you ranking this guy? Uh, i'm not giving any anything i'm just gonna say it's number one for me out, out of what we got so far Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was going to, I thought it was going to be number two. I, <coughs> no. I thought there would be a chance it would be number one, but I honestly thought it would be number two. Um, but this is, this is a great line. So it's actually, you know, out of all the ones we've talked about, I would have to, even the first, you know, the 32 uh, that we talked about before um, it was, at, it would actually fit in. Uh, number three with, with the stuff that we talked about, it would fit right below Star Wars and Transformers. It would fit right pretty close in that that area. All right, all, well. all kind of bunch stuff right there. But, but so far, the our new our new bracket now it's number one for me. John, where do you put it? I put it at number two. Number two. Um, any reason why? Just I'm I'm surprised slot cars moved down for you. To be honest. <laughs> So you well, guys are I, actually going one above what I thought you were going to go. <laughs> no, the slot cars and stuff, I like them and everything, but I do like the action figures, the DC, the, all those and everything. And, you know, I, I can remember some of these, the Green Lantern and stuff, but mm -hmm. I just, yeah. it does not beat out the NES. So I remember um, having, because I, I, I remember his <laughs> legs spinning. So Red Tornado's leg spinning. Um Maybe, maybe Flash. I don't know, but I do remember his leg spinning because as soon as we started looking at it, Michael mentioned that Red Tornado was his favorite. I was like, yes, because his leg, like, yeah, that, yeah. It, it brings back memories. So, um, it is going number two for me. Also, uh, the NES system is going to be hard to beat for me on this on this list. I think, <laughs> um, I think there's going to be. I think it's going to go down one more for Michael once we get through a few things. But uh, uh, I don't expect it to be out of Michael's top five. No. So, well, there you go. There's our, that's, that's it. So a number one for Michael, number twos for uh, me and John. So none of our, well, I guess mine and John's list still match. Uh, Michael's going to be off. He's got to be the different one. Yeah. That's how it works. I, I told you, we start getting the next couple of lines. They'll, they'll start switching up. It's going to start changing. Our, our, yeah. our, our lineups start looking different. Yeah. Yeah. So this like, like, this is a great line. Um, and I, I wish that I would have realized we were recording today. So I, otherwise <laughs> I would have gotten our game to go in because um, that was going to be a I, fun game. I kind of wish this line would have kept going because because reading what the, con the, the concept art that they that popped up throughout the years after it was canceled um, with all these other, like I said before, with all these other uh, characters, they had some great characters coming out. Not only, mm -hmm. you know, you had your, your mainstream, you had some, um, some of some from the super friends you had some obscure uh like the metallo like i said was the robert roger corbin version of them uh the manhunter was the 70 1970s paul kirk version so they kind of knew knew the difference i really you know reading this line you know being a superman fan i would have liked to see bizarro and then i really loved would have loved to see mr mix of -a -a so that would have been <laughs> can you really say that four times fast michael Mr. Mix a Plick a Lick. Mr. Mix, mix a Plick a Lick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One time. Um, yeah, that was hard yeah. stuff. The characters, I do like the fact that it's not like they were just like, hey, here's Green Lantern. You know, they're giving us specific versions of Green Lantern. And yeah. March yeah Manor they they would have had, yeah, they would have had the um, the John Stewart version. And yeah. In, you know, a couple series later. Yeah. So I, I think that would have been awesome. Now, the only good thing about it actually ending is maybe someday you can get all of these if you've got about $300,000. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these are, you can maybe get these if you can find all of them. I, like yeah. I said, we, we want to get some, we want to find some. If, uh, if you're listening to this and you have some and you want to show them off, 
let us know because we'd love to have you on for a showcase to kind of show some more because these are this is a great toy line. I can't wait to you. Which ones did you get, Michael? Um, I got. Uh, I did remember. get. I did get a penguin. Oh yes. Um. So I told you there was there was. I'll probably keep two and another two guys for you guys. Uh. So I got a penguin. Um. I got Green Lantern. I've got uh, the Flash. And I got Steppenwolf. And Steppenwolf. So Steppenwolf for John, uh, Penguin for me, obviously. And then you're keeping Flash and Green Lantern. Yeah. How do you know I mean, Steppenwolf was for John? Uh, because, because, yeah, <laughs> you said a couple for us, and then you were keeping two, and I could auto automatically <laughs> tell which two you were keeping. And, um, and you know, if if I wouldn't have spent the little extra money on the the lantern that I did buy, then I, I would probably give John the Green Lantern. But since the lantern was so much, I'm gonna keep it. You're keeping it. So I just extra, so extra money. I spent extra I, money on it, but I figured you'd keep um, the Green Lantern because you're you know you love green. And Flash, I always thought Flash was kind of Green Lantern, but red. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then the Steppenwolf I did get has the... Uh, Does he have his uh, axe? It has the axe, and it's still connected to his backpack. So a lot of them that I did see. And I, I got these all from one one guy, so right. he had a good price on, on each of them. And, uh, the only the only thing that we need to track down would be the umbrella for penguin. Penguin's umbrella. All right, yeah. I'm on it. I will find it. I, f I um, found the <laughs> the top of the umbrella, but the stick itself was was missing. So all the ones uh, I saw that had had it just had the top, but no stick. So no that handle. means the no handle. The, the other two that I need to try to find. Are, uh, obviously, I want a Batman and I want a Joker. Mm -hmm. um, so I, there uh, there is a Riddler, and it is actually a. He was a, he, he was, was a, a foreign, he was a non Kenner version. Um, produced he in Argentina, was, I think. Yeah, Argentina, it was South America <laughs> is where he was released, but he wasn't actually a Kenner, Kenner figure, but he was part of it. So, so he was a non knockoff, knockoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you want to do it that way, yeah. Like, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so this this guy right here. Um, yeah, there he is. Yeah, and it's all written in 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 Spanish. So yeah, I, I like how the logo is backwards. It's upside like the collection was always underneath. Oh, the, so it's like yeah. it says Collection Super Amigos. Yeah. Yeah, and then whatever company Pasa uh, Pasapa, Pasipa. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. He would be nice to have, but I'm sure he's pretty pretty costly there yeah i don't know i have to see if we can look them up and find a, a price for him but it may be coming from south america right and um <laughs> i'm gonna I'm, obviously i'm gonna look to find me a batmobile too but you know yeah. um the, the one i showed you with batman and robin i think it's on there for 51 dollars. that's not too terribly bad so that's all right um, so we've ranked, we've talked about it. Like this is a great toy line. If uh, we hope to hear everybody else, what they think about this toy line. I think this is going to get a lot of love. I think this episode is going to get a lot of love. Yeah. Um, this toy line obviously needs lots of love and lots of yeah, this, lots. There's this lots is of one I've been about, looking so. forward to. Uh, and, and you guys let it sneak up on me. And, and I didn't know till till like, few days ago that we were actually talking about this I'm all, Oh, it's already here. You know, so. when I, when I <laughs> oh, sent when you the picture, the, the yeah. sneak peek. Yeah, when yeah. you said the sneak peek, I didn't even know it was it, we were doing it yet. So because I, I told you guys, I was like, "Don't look at the calendar." And um, I had to, <laughs> and so I was like, "Don't look at the calendar. See if you know what it is." I knew Michael would know what it was. I didn't. I wasn't sure if John would or not. Um, but yeah, those those iconic colors, the design, everything. Kenner did it right with this one. Yeah, um, I fully anticipate superpowers being in the top four uh, of this bracket um mm -hmm. at the end of this so yeah it'll be great maybe it'll win who knows um all right well uh john can you give us a rundown of all those social medias where people can find us so they can know when we're going to be doing things all right so website toy rewind podcast.com email us at toy rewind podcast at gmail.com 
Uh, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. It's all Toy Rewind Pod. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, Toy Rewind Podcast. And then we have our podcast bingo, podcastbingo.com backslash Toy Rewind. So when you're listening, have some fun. Yeah, we've been doing some updates to the bingo card for a couple of different podcasts. So uh, I need to do some updates for us um, and get some things on there. So, yeah. Um, there would have been a couple. Um, one that uh, people did miss, unless they just opened it up. Shout out to mom and dad because uh, we had some of these toys. So, <laughs> yeah. shout out to them. Um, obviously, if you're listening to this, you probably know we're part of the Nerd Unite community. Um, so, make sure you're listening to all of those guys. Obviously, Geek Together, who we partner with on our. Uh, collector showcases so be sure you go check them out check out the average nerd podcast where we had av on last night um and just last week with uh, the podcast we had jorge and dave on so um go check those guys out which we, we got two more two more average nerds to figure out where to where to drop them in and then uh the be sure to check out the four dorksmen three beers and a mic the sds guys uh, nerdy curious nerd portraits movie retakes the totally rad movie podcast it's not dead yet. Uh, secondary heroes, the figure booth and uh, second opinion. And then when you're just looking for some positivity and need some, uh, some stuff going on, especially if you're working from home and you need some positivity, you can just lurk while you're, uh, while you're working. Uh, I do that a lot, but go check out Sully over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv backslash CS Sully. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Secondary heroes just hit their hundredth episode, right? Do they, wasn't it just the other day? Something like that. Something, something like that. Um, yeah. The Dorksmen are coming up on their yeah, 100th yeah. episode. Yeah, they're getting close. Yeah, the Dorksmen's getting close. Yeah, Secondary yeah. did theirs uh, last week, was it, or two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, just a couple weeks ago. I know it was something like that. Um, and then um, we are getting dangerously close to our, um, our one year episode. So uh, we will be having close something going on when we get 50. to that point. So we are, yeah, this, is, yeah. this is episode 39. So this yeah, is 39. Close. So we're, we're 12 episodes away. So we will, uh, we'll be talking more about, um, a few things that we're probably going to do towards our 50th or 52nd episode and our one year mark. So, uh, be sure you follow us, do all that good stuff. Cause you're going to want to be able to, uh, to know what's going on. Lots of fun stuff. So yeah. anything you two want to add on for, uh, the DC superpowers to do a, <clears throat> We need to do a, a a toy box showcase sometime or another. Yes, yeah, we're gonna have yeah. to get one together. Yeah. I've got a couple of things I need to open up before I yep. get too itchy. And I got something else today. Oh, I got something else to hand to Michael too. Oh, I don't know yeah. if he has this Hot Wheels. Oh, cool. Uh, no, I'm not, show, I'm not gonna show. I was what about to say is. he's not showing what it is, but yeah. <laughs> but it is so, Hot Wheels. <laughs> we will be doing a showcase. Yeah, I don't, at, I don't uh, have that one. We will be doing a toy box showcase pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, keep that up. Anything you guys want to add about superpowers? No, I just wish they would have kept on going to see some of these cool, cool, cool pieces that they had planned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, all right. Well, uh, now on behalf of the Brothers Dillon here at Toy Rewind Podcast, play on. You've been listening to the Toy Rewind Podcast. Follow and join in the conversations at toyrewindpodcast.com.